Hi guys, this is Tina from Shabby Dabby Doodah. Welcome back to my channel. So I'm here again with my kind of art junk journal that we made. Uh, for me, it's the same day, so hence my hands are still very, very messy. Um, but I thought that we could now just kind of play around and do a page in our, you know, in our book. So obviously this is a very scrappy, very kind of um, junky, junky journal. It's not, um, well, <laughs> it's not kind of perfect um, by, you know, standards of kind of how neat it is or how nicely it's put together or anything like that. It's hopefully going to just turn out something super gorgeous and really nice to look through. So, you know, that's the intention. Now, in the last video, I did actually bind it with this fabric. Now, I'm not sure that I'm too happy with that binding, um, but I wanted to obviously show you it finished off, i.e., you know, being bound. So that's why I kind of did that. But to be honest, I'm going to need to actually kind of undo these because... I haven't actually kind of finished off the edges of my pages at all. So I'm just going to snip through them rather than try now to untie them where I've obviously pulled them pretty tight. So like that. Okay. And for this one, I'm just going to work in this blue page. So I'm just going to put these ones out of the way. And then obviously we can rebind it, you know, later on or another time. So let's just take that like that. Now, I don't know what I'm going to do on this page yet, but I have brought along a few little things that I've just had in my stash for years and years and just thought, actually, this might be quite a good, you know, good use for some of these little bits and pieces. So, I mean, obviously, I've got these little flowers and things. I've got these circles. I've got these, which, you know, they're just, well, they remind me of sort of coasters, really. Um, so they're quite nice. I've got yellow flowers. I'm not sure that I want to kind of incorporate yellow in here. I've got some birds. So, yeah, I don't know really whether we're going to go with any of those. But I think what I'm going to start with doing is um, we obviously added last time the gesso and things. So I'm just going to do a little bit of stamping so to get a bit more going on on the sort of plainer parts of the page. So let's have a look and see what stamp that we're going to use. I have got this gorgeous stamp, which I'm sure that I've used this in a video recently. Um, it's absolutely such a lovely stamp. It's just these little letters kind of at a random, you know, random sort of place or random, random point. Um, and I used it in a recent video doing one of the shelf sitters and it just looked so, so lovely. So I thought that we could use this on here. Now, when I used it in that video, I think I did do it in um, gold, embossed in gold, and it looked absolutely gorgeous. I'm not sure that I want to be doing that in this one. So, shall I go for my black stays on again? Let me just grab that down. So, I've got my timber brown and I've got my black. So, let's just go for the black. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of do a bit down here. And we'll just do a bit, I think, over here. It's a gorgeous stamp, isn't it? Okay, and put that one away. I think we'll do another couple of stamps in the background as well, because of course that's not, you know, not very much taken up there so let's just have a look and see what other stamps that I've got I've got those gorgeous number stamps which I was gifted in happy mail so let's do a couple of these let's do the number five and okay just put this one oops onto a stamp block if I have one that's even clean enough to actually even get out for the purposes of the video okay so I'm just going to put that on there okay and we we'll just stamp that here I think whoops oh totally lopsided so yep I might want to cover that up now where I couldn't see through my dirty stamp block so uh, yeah that will teach me to not look after my blocks won't it 
And I know that over the time, people have been so kind and given me lots of tips of how to clean my blocks and things like that. I'm just so rubbish um, with things like that because, you know, and I've said before, but normally I kind of film up until I'm due to do something else. And, um, you know, then I kind of obviously leave my desk and totally forget really that I had meant to do something else like clean my stamps. Okay, so that's a little bit lopsided as well, but never mind. Okay, let's put those away. Those back. And then I've got some little postmark stamps here, which again, oh, I've no idea now which way up they're supposed to be. And they've been on this block for a really long time. So they're like well and truly stuck on there. Let me just stamp them off onto something so that I can just see which way up they are supposed to be. Oh, well that was good. Yeah, they're that way up. Okay, so we'll just do a postmark down here. And we'll do a postmark up here, I think. Okay. Yep, like how that looks. We can always stamp some other things in a little while. So let's just that stays on out the way now now on this one I did already do the um, black edging so sorry about the, the desk closing um, I did already do the black edging with the gesso and the wipe so we've got this gorgeous edge now I haven't done it yet on this one so I'm just going to do that <clears throat> so again just taking that black gesso and we'll just then go in on the edges okay so a bit there and then we'll just have a teeny bit up here I think it's just sort of a bit of a frame really for the um, the page so just go down there as well yeah it just gives it a bit more sort of definition I think and um, you know makes it sort of pop out a little bit more so um, like that and just a bit down here as well okay that one's really dark so I just take some more off Okay, do we want to kind of darken up any of these edges? I think maybe we do. Let me just go in with this one. Yeah, okay, so I quite like how that's looking now. Yeah, okay, right. So that's that. Looks quite nice, doesn't it? And let's get rid of that gesso now off the desk. <clears throat> Otherwise, I'm rapidly running out of space on my desk. Right, now, what else I've done? I printed off some of my printables onto acetate, and I just thought it would be really nice to have some acetate pieces on the page. So I'm just going to cut out this one. Oops. Okay. I'll just drop that down. Like that. I just thought this would look really fun because it's going to be a completely different texture to everything else that's on the page, which I thought would look really kind of striking and really, really nice. Oops, let me get rid of that piece of acetate, which is tricky to pick up. So that looks quite nice over there, doesn't it? Oops down on something oh well. so that's quite nice there now I also have some clusters that I have made obviously for my junk journals and again I've bought these along just because I thought they may look nice they might look rubbish but they might look okay so I'll just kind of have a play around and see kind of maybe something 
like that. Let me just stand up and sort of have a look down. I mean, this feels super different to me, um, you know, to anything else much that I've done, I've got to be honest. So I feel a little bit nervous how this is going to, going to turn out. Just have to keep my fingers crossed that it's going to turn out nicely. <laughs> Let me just ink this up. Again, because these have been, um, you know, what they call kiss cut. And I know I say this all the time, but, you know, the kiss cutting is when they have kind of a white border. And obviously these are shop-bought ones. If I cut things myself, I feel like that's a bit rubbish to kiss cut things. And yet, for some reason, when I shop buy things, you know, I just accept that that's how it is. But, yeah, I don't know what that's about, why I feel, you know, funny if it's my stuff, but not if it's others. Right, we've got here... This is some book page. Um, it's a vintage book, but it's not kind of really, really vintage or anything. Um, but I thought the big idea was quite nice. So I'm just going to cut that out. I'm now thinking my pages are quite ginormous and um, you know there's a lot of space here to fill. I think I did say in the previous video I'm sure that um, the video that this, you know inspired this I'm sure her pages were a lot smaller than this which at the time I kind of thought oh well you know I'll have bigger pages but actually now in hindsight I can see why actually, you know, you'd possibly want smaller pages, in fact, because these are pretty huge to, you know, it's a lot of space now to actually fill up. So, yeah, wishing a bit that my pages were smaller. Now, again, in that same set, I also had this little bike. Now, I quite like other people's videos when I see them use things like bikes, you know, but I don't know how vintage that looks, if I'm truthful. I mean, to me, that looks a bit like a sort of modern day... I don't know, racer type bike. So it's not really, yeah, not really kind of doing it for me, to be honest. Okay, what else is in this packet? There's a key, which the key is quite nice. Again, it's just got too much of that white edging, hasn't it? Okay, well, maybe I'm not going to manage to use really anything much from this packet after all. Okay, back to the drawing board. Do I even want that flower? I don't know. Well, we'll keep that out and um, I'm just going to have a look through and see what else I've got. I mean, we could always introduce another colour, um, you know, completely, which I've got some pinky coloured, or, you know, well, yeah, I guess they are pinky. Pinky, mauvey, aubergine type colour pieces here. Not sure. Not sure they're quite right either. Oh, this is going to be one of those. One of those videos. Yeah, I mean, I've got to be truthful and say, you know, I only saw her video where she made the, the journal. I didn't really, I don't even know whether she had the video up where she actually then went on to use it. So I guess this is a bit of a first for me. And, um, yeah, I'm probably quite stumped, if I'm truthful. Right, I've got this stamp as well, which I've not even ever used this stamp. It's from 49 Market uh, Faded Damp Demask. Demask. It's with an E instead of an A. Um, the, this, I think, would look quite nice kind of feeling like I do need some more texture so I think I might have to actually emboss this because it feels to me like the page is a little bit on the flat side okay let's just move this out of the way so I'm going to emboss it now I do love using gold embossing powder so I'm going to emboss it with the gold yeah I mean I just think the gold is always really lovely and you know just kind of goes with most things to be honest so let's just pull this in right and I'm just going to stamp that down with my Versamark sticky stinky sticky ink pad 
So let's do one page at a time so I'm not crowding the desk again. I'll do one here. Okay. Okay, and then I'm just going to stamp it again up here. So like that. Okay, let's put the powder on there. Right, I'm just going to go and heat emboss that and then I'll be back in a moment. Okay, so I'm back. So that's how that looks. It does kind of just bring it out of itself a little bit more. So just going to stamp on this side as well now. Oops, where have I put my stamp? Oh, it's there. Okay. So I think for this we will go here. I don't want it in, of course, exactly the same places. And then we'll have a bit here. Hopefully that will cover up a little bit of that wonky five as well. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to then go into the corner just like that and just ink up, uh, not ink up, sorry, emboss, emboss a little bit around the corner as well. Okay, and I might just do that on the other one as well actually. Um, maybe here. Again, just go in with the powder. Okay, I'm going to emboss that and I'll be back. Okay, so I'm back with my um, two pages now and they've obviously got the gold touches around which, you know, I just really, really like. So I'm going to take this piece here and just maybe pop it there. I also dug around and I've got this stamped image, which I've used this before. These are those beautiful crafty individual stamps that I just love so much. And I thought that would be really nice on here somewhere as well. Now I also printed off, these are some of my printables, but I printed them off onto that see-through um, label paper to be able to use like washi tape. So I'm just going to cut a little bit down like that and maybe just kind of stick that around in one or two places. Okay, so just maybe here or here, maybe there I think. So as I say, this is actually see-through label paper. Okay. And then we'll just put the other one mm. Oh, I don't know now. Unless we have it up there. Maybe we'll have it here. Let's just pop that. Oh, I'm going to put it here. No, I'm going to put it here. Like that. Okay, so that looks quite nice. And then I also have this postcard, which again, it's a crafty individual stamp. Absolutely just love those postcards. They are just, oh, just lovely. Really, really, really love them. Um, right, still deciding what flowers and what have you to have around here, because of course we do want to have some sort of flowers. 
I've also got some more of those bits and pieces that I didn't print on acetate. So we may actually have something from here. So I'll just drop this down. like that dark blue up there I think it's quite striking um, perhaps we should have it kind of that way round instead do we need some sort of you know different shape things have we got too many rectangles now going on here maybe maybe we have but I quite like it like that so I might just pop that down there now I want to have the big idea on here as well so I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to place this down on here so we'll just glue this down. Oh, it's getting really dark now, so I'm thinking I might not be able to film for much longer because, um, you know, you won't be able to see what I'm doing. So I hope that I manage to get finished before that happens, but, you know, you just can't tell. Because it's raining, I mean. <laughs> Obviously, I can tell when it's um, getting dark, but, you know, because it's raining, it's obviously getting darker earlier today. So, um, yeah, we'll have to kind of see, see how it goes. Okay, so that's quite nice on there. I quite love that. Okay. And then I'm thinking I've got some blue paint here. Now, I've got this sort of flat blue. Or I have this, but this is very, 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 well, you know, bright. Oh, am I brave, brave enough? What do you think? I don't know whether I am. So for the acetate, I'm going to glue it down here and then I can glue that postcard on top of it, which will just kind of help it stay stuck. So I'll just glue that like that. Okay. And then I think what I'm going to do is just have the postcard kind of just here. And I will probably hot glue, I think, the postcard. So as I've got some definition going on. Yeah. I'm going to do that. So let's just ink the postcard up a little bit. Okay. Right. Oh, let's have it to the side that way or that way. Oh, I've put the glue on here now, haven't I? So. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter, to be honest. Okay, so I'm going to just glue that down. Like that. Okay, press that down a bit. So that's quite nice. And then, do you know what? I'm going to try out this. So I've got my wet wipe here and it is still wet. So I'm going to pour a little bit of this out to the side. I mean, you can probably see it's super blue, super, super bright. So okay, so I just went and dug out some other colours. So I've got this one here, which is uh, buff titanium, it says. So I'm just going to put that down on that little palette as well. And then I've also got some brown. Now, I don't know whether I'm going to want to use the brown at all, but let's just have a look. Okay, so that's all right. Now, I'm going to be super messy here. I'm just going to kind of dab it on with my finger. Whoa, let's hope I don't regret this. So, let's start here, where I can be a bit more 
you know, cover it up if it looks absolutely terrible. Just going to go over there a little bit and then just drag it out with some of this yellowy colour. And then just going to go in with the brown very, well, I was going to say very lightly, but of course it's not, not gone on very lightly. Okay, that's all right. So it's going to come out a bit more with that. Okay, we can have a little bit more of the yellow down here. A bit more brown. And a little bit more of the yellow. Okay. Yeah, that looks quite pretty, doesn't it? Yeah, I quite like how that looks. And then on here, just want to kind of pick up a similar theme. So we'll just put some on there like that. Again, a little bit of yellow too. Just go in with my wet wipe here. Just to lift a little bit of that off. And I might just do the same here. Okay, and then just do a little bit up here as well. Can okay, just dab that a little bit over there, and then just have a little bit of the brown in the corner there. Maybe a bit more of this coming down here as well. Maybe a bit of this just running down that edge. Thing is, I'm such a sucker for colour. I just can't help myself. I love colour. So, um, yeah, being able to use colour <laughs> like this is just lovely okay just have a little bit of that brown as well like that and then I'm just going to go oops down this edge I think with a bit of the blue as well such a yummy color isn't it it's absolutely gorgeous bit here well I said a tiny bit but it's as usual not really a tiny bit it's pretty massive okay right let me just turn that round and just see how the two pages look sort of side by side okay not too bad I feel like this one needs a little bit more brown so I'm just going to go in with the brown and just kind of mop it up a little bit let me move that acetate down Ah, right, okay. So that's obviously reacting differently because it's two different papers that that's kind of sat on. So a bit of a different kind of thing going on. But, you know, that's fine. I don't mind that. I think we need just a little bit of yellow here and a bit more of the blue, I think. Okay. Yeah, okay. So I quite like how that looks now. And then we're going to have the car here, like that. Okay, do we like how that looks so far? Yeah, I think it's coming together nicely. So I'm just going to glue this down. Again, I'm just going to take the hot glue and, you know, glue it down with a bit of sort of lumps and bumps. So I've got lots of texture going on and it's not just completely flat pieces. Okay, yep, 
like how that looks. Right, now, what else did I want to add? I've got a clock here. So should we have the clock somewhere, somewhere there? Let's do that. So again, just going to glue that down. Sorry about the noise. My hot glue gun's getting caught on the cable of the, the phone charger. Yep, like how that looks. And do we want any of the other acetate pieces? So I'm feeling like we need something else dark blue, maybe on this side now. So let me just cut out one or two pieces here. Also on this same piece, I've got these flowers as well, again in the acetate, which we could I guess have some of those. Okay, let me just cut these out and then I'll be back. Okay, so I've cut out a bunch of different things and I also found I had these little labels, which again, these are from some die cuts that I've had for years and years, but I thought, oh, colour wise, I think these are going to go quite well. So I think I'm going to pop that there. Um, do we want to kind of have any paint or anything over there? I guess we could just kind of round the edge. I don't know really whether it's kind of adding anything much to that, but perhaps we could even have the brown. Oops. Just like that. Thought that would tuck quite nicely in there. Actually, I can't see whether that's upside down. Oops, put my glasses on. Oh, yeah. Yep, I nearly stuck it in upside down there. <laughs> but I'm thinking that would be quite nice here and I've got a butterfly here so I'm just going to pop this one down with again the hot glue okay like that and then my butterfly I'll just ink it up I mean hopefully it doesn't really need it but just in case I've made a shoddy job of cutting it. I'll just ink it up to disguise that. And then these little flowers, which I've just cut out from the acetate, I had to kind of do it off camera because obviously on the acetate, I couldn't really see to cut them out very well. So I had to kind of switch the light on really to, um, yeah, see what I was doing. Right, and then I've obviously got a whole bunch of other things. So I've got a flower up here, which I just thought that looks gorgeous, just exactly there. Whoops. So I'm just going to glue this down with kind of a bit of glue straight in the middle using the hot glue and then I'm hoping that what I'm going to do is just put maybe a little centre in that flower in a minute. So again I'm just going to take my butterfly and we will just glue that one down there like that. <clears throat> And then this flower, I think, looks pretty nice here. So again, just straight in the middle of there, like that. <clears throat> now, these two clocks, I don't know really whether I want them both. I have got another one here, obviously, so I'm going kind of clock mad, clock crazy. So maybe it's just too many clocks, I'm not sure. Um, I also do have got a flower that's not acetate that I've just cut out as well because I thought perhaps I needed one, you know, that wasn't see-through. Right, now the big idea, I'm going to chop that down. So, and this was just from a book, this, um, the big idea. But I thought that was quite fun to have on this page. Don't know quite where I want it. Oh, there's another little acetate flower. Look. See, they really just, you know, um, get lost on the page because obviously they're see-through. Could have that clock there coming out there. And obviously I've got the other side of this one, which I had torn down. So I'll just see whether I want to have this anywhere again. Is that, yep, yeah, that would be the right way up. 
Uh, do we want to have that anywhere? Oh no. Uh, okay, let's just have a look. Are we thinking I've just got kind of too many clocks now going on? Not sure. Let me just stand up and look down on this. Sometimes you just do get a bit of a different perspective when you look down. So yeah, I quite like this here. So again, I'm just going to kind of glue that straight into the middle. Like that with the hot glue. Don't know really whether I like that there. Okay, let's just decide where I'm going to have this. Also got this, which I thought looked quite nice to have somewhere. So again, let me just rough the edges up of this and that will just kind of liven it up a little bit. Like that. And then again, might just go around that with a bit of the bit of the blue. Okay. Oops. Oh, now I've smudged some of that blue across there. Oh, well, never mind. So, yeah, I quite like that butterfly thing here. Or do we prefer it up here? Maybe it's better like that. Let's decide where we're having the, the big idea. Oh, I don't know now. That's um, throwing me slightly. Hello, sweetheart. It's really raining. It's really chucking it down, isn't it? Not a nice day at all. We're going to go out today, are we? No, probably not, to be honest. Because it's not, not nice, is it? Oh, brilliant. Tidied everything right up. Oh, I can't get these last few elements just exactly kind of how I want them. Maybe, maybe like that. Should I help? Hmm. Yeah, you're always helpful, aren't you? Right, I'm going to pop this one down before I can change my mind. So let's take this one. What if you um, change your Hang on, two seconds. On. Well, that's why I quite like gluing it on, because then it's kind of like, oh, too late now. So even if then I decide, oh, I wish I hadn't done that, at least then I can't keep changing my mind, which otherwise is just boring, isn't it? Keep changing your mind like that. <laughs> what do you think, sweetheart? What do you think it's lacking or it needs? I've also got some hessian, actually, um, which again, kind of got the idea from the original video from um, Kylie I think it was Kylie Koo studio so I'm just going to check whether I might like any of that anywhere I think you should like maybe put like a blue flower do you think it needs something else blue yeah I I'm going to have some of those lovely droplets oh, why don't you do that one let's do that lovely blue bow mm, not sure I want a bow but I'm going to have some of those blue droplets you know that we've been using lately did what I stick droplets? that flower down yep what droplets, you know the um the ones that we bought the other day those lovely bead things that we've been using all the time that all we've been really enjoying dogs. yeah those Which colour not sure blue. not sure not sure Unless I prefer that there, no. Oh, I'm just struggling to get this last little bit to come together. I wonder whether these words are too big, which I wanted them big, but now, now I'm thinking maybe they're too big. Now 
Let me cut these down because maybe they are just too big for that. Okay. Just cut this down there. Maybe as well they need to be inked because I've not actually inked these up. So maybe that would also also help. And maybe I don't want the the dots and the exclamation mark and all the rest of it. So let's just shrink that down. Okay, so that looks a bit better being kind of smaller, doesn't it? I think that does help a little bit. Let me ink those up. Just trying them over here, seeing how that might look. Other than the fact that I have really done a bad job of cutting the word idea, which just looks really super crooked now. Okay, right. I'm not liking this because I've got everything going off like that, which then that just looks a bit peculiar, doesn't it? So let's move some things out. So I do quite like that. Let's just check whether we'd like the big idea up here. Sometimes it's just a struggle, isn't it? And things just don't sort of <laughs> quite come together right at the end. Because I'm quite close to finishing the um, the layout, but for some reason I just can't quite can't quite get it just just how I want it, just on this last little bit. Perhaps we'll have a little bit of hessian here. Let's just put that down. Again, just hot gluing that down. If you hot glue the hessian, just be a bit careful because obviously it could, you know, burn you through it. Now let me get those little gem things that my daughter and I have been loving lately. So we've got these gorgeous ones and they again have this really lifting kind of property. So I'm going to put a couple of those on those flowers and then that again might just help us, you know, decide whether the page needs anything else. So... Pop that one down there in the centre of that flower. Okay. And then I'm going to put one up there. And then I might just even put kind of a little little line of them on the hessian. Let's have a look. Oh, that looks pretty, doesn't it? Yeah. Okay. So... Whoa. Okay. So that's those there. And then on the facing page, I'm going to just put one in the centre of that flower. I drop it it's stuck on my finger <laughs> because they actually are stickers but you know as always I do like to just reinforce it with some glue as well don't really kind of ever have much faith in the glue you know on a sticker just holding it long term so 
So I like to kind of add my own glue as well. Okay. Oops. Right. I thought that might have helped me, but so far, still not. Okay, well, perhaps I'm going to have that hessian over there. I quite like how that looks. So let's just glue that down now. Oops. Yep, and that's just really strange, isn't it? How that looks. Yeah, that doesn't look good at all. At all, at all. Right, let's try it here. Oh, I quite like that blue on the turquoise background. That's quite pretty. Um, Maybe I don't really like that that sentiment or those words at all. I don't know. <sighs> have I have you ever seen anyone take so long placing a, a word on something? I just yeah, I feel like I've never seen anyone take this long. It's driving me potty, if it's any consolation. So I'm sure it must be driving all of you potty as well. Right, I quite like it like that. So finally, finally, finally. Let's just glue this down now. Okay. And that one. And then I quite like the idea kind of just to the side like that. Perhaps we'll have that one there. Okay. Like that. My gosh, that took a long time, didn't it? Okay. Well, we're not home home and dry yet. <laughs> not home and dry just yet. I'm still fiddling around. Right, I'm going to I think put it like that. Um yeah, let's just go for this before I dither around anymore. Oops, now I need a hot glue stick in my gun. I've fiddled around for so long, the, even the hot glue has kind of lost the will to live now. Okay, so that's that. Okay. There's one clock and then the other one. Just there. Okay, and then just check which way round I want these flowers. So I've got obviously a see-through one and a non-see-through one. So, Whoa. Mm. I mean, really, probably does not make a lot of difference, does it? I don't know why I'm dithering around now, even over that, but. There we go, and then I'm just going to glue this flower down there. Just check that I wouldn't prefer it up there because I suddenly thought this this section was now pretty plain, wasn't it? 
Yeah. Right, well, let's just have this down here. It's getting really dark, so I'm going to have to kind of call it a day soon just because, you know, you're not going to be able to see anything soon. Right, nearly finished. So the final bits, I just want to put a little blue bling in the middle of that flower. So again, just dot a little dab of glue there. Okay, just like that. And then again, I might just have that little row of um, dots there. On the hessian. Just going to make them a bit longer this time because that's. I don't know whether it's longer actually, but. Okay, like that. And then do we want any others? I'm not sure. Okay, so I'm quite happy with how that looks. I think the only other thing that I would quite like to do, I've watered down this. Um, acrylic paint here that's beside me and I thought I'm going to try and do a couple of drops or splashes Oops. okay and possibly a couple here don't think anything was happening there Oh, perhaps I haven't watered it down enough. Oh, who'd have thought doing the splashes would be so hard? Okay. And then just a couple more just down here. Okay, so that's probably it. I don't think I can possibly squeeze anything else much on that page, to be honest. It's looking quite full now. So, yeah, I hope that you like it. I'm just going to clean up. Okay, so finally the page is done, and um, or you know the pages are done. I hope that you like them. Um, it obviously took quite a while getting there, but this is the first um, you know really kind of mixed media page that I've done properly, really, um, and obviously in this kind of different way using the cardboard and everything. So um, yeah, I really hope that you like it. I had a really nice time doing it. Hopefully it's inspired you um, to maybe do one of your own kind of cardboard junky kind of junk, um, you know, art journals. And yeah, thank you, thank you so much for joining me and hopefully see you guys soon. Thanks then. Bye.